<sighs> Relaxing and nostalgic. Hello everyone, I am Pep580 and I welcome you to a new episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we tackled Champion Mifa's song. Today, we are warping over to the Gerudo area in order to tackle the next section of the Champion's Ballad. Let's go over to the Vine Beast Bandivores. Here we are. Vanaboris, and uh, this is actually the very last... I don't think they will actually let me glide under here. Unless I go decently down. Because they go like, oh, it's dangerous to go that way, you can get blasted by the laser. Like, you're not gonna fire that until I give you the signal. Why would you fire it if you just see like a speck going in front of you and just fire off, destroying everything? You know what? It's uh, it's 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 non it's I it never it's never meant to like be. Oh wait, hello, arrow. Hello, thundery thunder things. Give me more arrows and don't electrocute me. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great night. <laughs> uh, the guardian. We're gonna skip the fight with the guardian today. Uh, you can see the monument over, all, all the way over there. Mountains. Mountains is like a very key point of this, right? Uh, Link, are you okay? You're twitching a little bit. <laughs> oh man, I, I I gotta tell you guys, I I recorded the other three p parts of the of the champions ballot. Like, I I know that this is technically as as divided into five parts, right? The the trial at the um, at the Great Plateau, then we got four songs, right? So far, it's been divided into five parts. Um, I didn't, I didn't really mean mean it to be this way, but apparently, with planning and, and everything else into account, the last episode, which is gonna be just stuff that I missed or or stuff that has changed uh, throughout the the rest of the the game through story context and whatnot. And the end boss is going to be 52. It's going to be 52 episodes of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild's main Let's Play. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly one year of weekly uploads, so I couldn't, I couldn't really be more stoked because my planning ended up being just one year of videos, and, um, I would not have been able to do it any other way, like, just 15-minute videos, um, or 20-minute videos like that. Maybe 30 minute videos would not have been enough. So just covering topic by topic has been the best way for me to do it. And I, I want to thank you guys that have been watching this because it's been it's been an awesome run. I really love sharing experiences with people. So this was this was an awesome ride. I applaud, I applaud your, courage your courage in coming, in coming here. here. The locations, the locations that, will that will be revealed, revealed to you. you. Are of trials that will, will enhance, enhance the power sleeping, sleeping within. within. Do not, Do not let, let your guard go. Okay, okay, I rec I recognize that. I see a big hole over there. Uh, <laughs> the other ones I cannot see. Okay. Okay. That light. Is it a reaction to someone nearby? Is it me or is it? Oh. Hmm. How strange to see someone else at this ample altitude. I wonder what brought him here. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm afraid traveling on my own encourages me to talk to myself on occasion. Look. I'm sure you already know, but it's one of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Such a rush of happiness I feel at being able to sing while the Divine Beast watches over us. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trials that Champion Urbosa overcame. Allow me to sing it to you.
Lightning King of the Desert, never is champion the star of work. The heroes for work shall grow. Seek drum monuments show. One by the brood of the sand to chase rings upon the land. Champion tries a bell. So, did it move you? By understanding the true natures of the champions, I'm closer than ever to completing those key verses. Huh. It's as though the champions are speaking to me through the song. I hear their silent plea for its completion. That's why I must learn more about the champions of Hyrule's past. Luckily, the Gerudo chief, Riju, and her guard, Buliara, shared some precious tales of their champion with me. I am grateful I was able to visit Gerudo town, even though I had to, well, leave my comfort zone a bit. Yep, I understand that. I understand that wholeheartedly. Thank you very much for the information, Cass. <laughs> Alright, you know what time it is. It's time for camera looking and marking. The first one... Uh, that we got here is very, very close to a big hole in the ground. It's more or less around here. That's the one. Alright, next up, if you look around, this one is a little bit harder to pinpoint, but it is still not impossible because you can see both Garuda Town and some of the ruins nearby. So this one should be right around here. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. And the last one. It's actually very close to this spot, <laughs> doesn't it seem so? Uh, if you come over here, it should be right around this part. Just, just keep, just keep looking at it. Okay. Well then, uh, the closest one I do believe is going to be yellow. I, I do think that the closest one is yellow. We can then teleport over to blue, uh, near Gerudo Town, and then go over to red, and that should be good. Yeah, the one that is close to Gerudo Town, I'm gonna say it's the rings. This one should be the Brute of the Sand, and the, the the third one, the last one, is the Chuck the the Orb Underground trial. <laughs> I'm actually very excited for Urbosa's song. I really love the Champion Urbosa. I really, really love Champion Urbosa, both design-wise and personality-wise. Like, everything about Urbosa, I actually really, really enjoy. Uh, her relationship to Zelda, the way that she is, like the grown adult, trying to take care of the other champions in some way. Uh, different to what Mifa is, she's a caretaker by nature. Uh, but it's not like... Mm, or Bose is a lot more subtle. It's kind of like, like a mom pushing everyone in, in the correct direction or something. It's just very, very nice to see the dynamic with Urbosa. Uh, and I mean, a lot of people, I, I really am not that much into Tsundere characters, so that's why Rivali is not my favorite, even though I really like him as well. Uh, Daruk is pretty straightforward, it's just a very nice, strong dude. <laughs> He's a bro. And, uh, and yeah, like, Mifa's just different, so, it, all in all, I think this is just... It's, it's a, it's a different, it's a different, different. <laughs> uh, but yes. I do, I do very much enjoy Champion Urbosa, uh, and whenever she's mentioned and she is uh, appearing. So yeah, Urbosa, top tier. <laughs> Anyways, we're here up to the next, uh, the next of our trials in the ballad, the, the ballad of the champions, and we have the Divine Beast Tamers trials, Moldu King. Looks different, right? Like this, this should be a different. Oh wait, I'm already. Huh, okay, well then. Let me let me just change that for a second. Thank you. Where is it? I have absolutely no clue. I cannot see it. Oh there it is. I see it. So it says Moldu King, and you might feel inclined to think that oh, it might be like a Molduga, and you would be correct. It is it is technically it is technically a Molduga type en enemy. So, uh, Moldu King, picture, 
Thank you, I got your belly. Now, Stace is right there for a second, and which weapon can I use for this? Uh, the giant boomerang we had used before, so as, as always, just try to hit it on its belly. This will always give you good results, better than hitting any other part of the body. We're dealing very little health uh, damage to you, to it, actually, so maybe not like that. Um, and just remember to keep your bombs near you, uh, because they will th th these these things will try to come grab you uh, very very fast, and uh, you might be in trouble if you if you did yes if you don't have that happen. All right, move. It has a ton of weapons in its in its bag. Too. So if you ever want to like just get a new weapon, you can do that. You can just uh, stun the Moldu King and just get weapons from its back. Okay, that one is done. How about we go for a... Uh, I have very weak weapons apart from the ones that I want to use in the final fight. Okay, and I am also breaking a lot of these, so... How, how about how about the side tribal boomerang? This thing, yep, that was gonna be a thing that happened. Uh, I am not gonna tolerate that, you know? I'm just really not gonna tolerate that. <laughs> it's 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 good that we have the we had the rook to help us with that, but you know, still still upset about the thing. I have a bomb in my hand. You should not approach me at any given point in time. I know you're circling me just so you can approach me in a second. Come on. Bring it bring it bring it in. Bring it closer. You have to finish with an attack, don't you? Are you gonna be done at any given point? Yes, you are. Yep, yep, yep. You know, it, it's always uh, such a more, like a bigger, more marvelous thing to see whenever they're like, they jump out of freaking sand and, and and be defeated and whatnot. But yeah, that's a, that's a thing. I have plenty of fire weapons, right? Yes, I do. Fire weapons to you. Just give me the extra, the extra damage that comes from, you know, yeah, okay. Once again, not tolerating you. Not tolerating that. Come on. Explosions on your head. You know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna go, indeed, uh, equip the sand boots so that I can run, actually. Uh, and then just run closer to it. Get a reset, get a bomb in space. Try to reset it. Oh, you're coming straight at me anyway, so, um... Cool. Now we have Urbosa's Fury, so let's just charge this up. Deal a lot more damage. Like, for some of these, it's actually kind of more necessary than not. There we go. There, there's two. And it's done. That's the Moldu King. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Can I get a better picture? Well, no, it's looking all, like, charcoal and stuff. But you get the weapons on top as well as freaking uh, treasure chests. So, Moldu King, more like <laughs> Moldu Mold Mold Death King. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm like yeah. <laughs> Puns are not my forte. I I'm pretty sure that you already guessed that. But, you know. Uh, let's get the Golden Claymore, that's a little bit better than what we have. The Gerudo Spear seems nice. I ended up getting the Rusty Halberd, so I really do not want that. Rusty Halberd, go away. Gerudo Spear is what I wanted, and the uh, Throwing Spear can't stay. Apart from that, what do we get from inside these? We got a Royal Shield, that is a very welcome addition to the team. We get... A Royal Guard's Bow, which is awesome! 68 damage from a bow, dude. 68 damage with a bow. And a royal bow, which, you know, quick draw is... It's an absolute win. I see it as an absolute win. Royal bows are very good bows, and having quick draw on them is just great, because you get to draw them fast. That's what that's what quick draw is all about, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this, this would be a very nice time-saving race if you still had more... You know, stuff to do down here at the desert uh, later on, because warping to this spot just saves time. Warping to this point really saves time. Uh, it's close to the very edge of the map, but it's also very south, and it's already in the desert, so you don't have to go into the. Uh, you really don't have to go into the uh, labyrinth. 
This is the KV Tala Shrine. Or Kaiv 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 Tala Shrine. It's weird names are weird, man. And this is big or small. What are you talking about? What thing could be big or small? The blocks. We're gonna conduct electricity, so... First things first. Gotta, yep. Gotta put that there. Put a small one in that is enough to bring electricity all the way over here. Then, uh, unfortunately enough... We, we would need this to be closer to the wall, so this does not go in there. And you need a big thing to carry the electricity from the lower part to the upper part, apparently. Yep, just like that. Well, actually, now to think about it, if it's gonna rise up like that, I could do it with a small one? Maybe? No, actually, I don't think so. <laughs> actually, I don't think so. Um... Okay, well then, now I'm just gonna need you to come up here, like that. Yep, you can just get it stuck in there. Pretty nice and easy, little squeezy. As long as I'm, as long as I'm concerned, that's uh, it's a pretty cool thing. And we're gonna need a cryonis block because you know all of this is is on water. Uh, so cryonis block, cryonis, cryonis, cryonis block. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle, this one, I think. Yeah, it's too small. It's too small, so I'm thinking that, in the end, it does actually matter, and we're gonna have to, like... Hmm... We're gonna have to, like... Do this one a little bit of an injustice. Like that, uh, because this is definitely up here material, and this is more like, oh, have a little bit of this material. Hopefully that was it. Does it stay? No, it does not. Okay, well then, um, my guess is in that case. We can cheese this a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna try something different. We're gonna cheese this in some way. I, w I wasn't really gonna use this all, all too much, so the fact that it is completely made out of metal and it is a long weapon just helps out a lot, because that means that goes like that. That's cool. But that also means that we get to use this one over here. So interrupt me with the cutscene of that thing opening again. There you go. Creative thinking. Creative uh, thinking. The ball can do a thing. But you also need that to be active in order to have the circuit come over to this side. Um, so this is about stopping these in the correct moment. It's really just a game of timing. Uh, moving and timing, moving and timing, timing your movements. No! Fast moving one was a little bit a little bit of a hassle. Oh my god, are you sh are you serious? Come on. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be freaking kidding me with that one. Like, it's a very small margin because I, it's not completely straight, but that opens up this thing. Hello! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Radiant shield, gotcha. Well, we got the treasure chest in here. That was, that was a little bit more of an entertaining, uh, puzzle, might I say. However, Monk, I'm sorry to say, it wasn't that challenging, I could cheese it. Thank you for your trial, though. Can I get one of those emblems, but this time for Naboris, thank you very much. Collect three, three emblems, emblems to open, to open the, the path, path to a new, a new challenge. challenge. Two to remain. remain. Okay, have fun going out with the wind. Okay, now that that is out, um, I should not have a fire weapon on me, that just makes my temperature go higher. We should warp over to Gerudo Town. Well, close to Gerudo Town. We want a seal. <laughs> because they're funny! 
And also because they're the fastest way to move around here in the desert, so, I mean... That, that could also be a very good reason to grab a seal. Hmm, okay, now I gotta, I gotta be careful here. Cannot go up to the... yeah, exactly because of that. Exactly because of that. Now, careful and slowly. Slowly and carefully. With the running speed of Link! We got a seal, oh, we got a seal. It's a little bit of a shame that we won't be getting inside of Gerudo Town today. Today, we will be going inside of Gerudo Town today. We're gonna go outside to play, oh yeah. We're gonna play in the desert today. Today, with some more seals, so yeah, today, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like I said in one of the previous episodes, I'm in a very sick Wait, you have you have a rental seal here. Hello. Savak. Savak. Freely uh, Freely asked me to go recruit some wild sand seals. Mm. The sand seals in town were all trained by Freely. They're faster and they'll wait for you to return to them. By comparison, the ones outside who haven't been trained will just run off the moment you dismount. It's definitely worth renting a trained one. Freely puts her heart into training them. Freely train the sand seals used in the sand seal races too, of course. The sand seal races are a Gerudo tradition. It's pretty simple. You use the sand seal to race around a course to see who's the fastest. Just go out to the southeast gate of the town and head to the right. You'll see the starting line immediately. No harm in taking a peek, right? I thought you were gonna allow me to rent. That's my sand seal, so you'd better stay back. I won't be held responsible if Freely gets upset. Uh, we're gonna have to capture another one. That's uh, quite unfortunate, because we were already here. That one is looking the correct way, so I'm just gonna... I really think I just gotta... No! I could've grabbed it while it was on the ground. I mean, under the sand. Okay, can you please stop? No! No! You passed the start line! Oh my god. Do I have, do I have like a sneaky? I have a sneaky. Let's use the sneaky. Just allow me to be sneaky and grab you. Thank you. Did not rent the seal because, well, what's out of the way? Let's go. Here. So basically you do actually need a seal in order to do this because if you don't use a seal, uh, it's going to take you forever to go in between one of these. And unless you have the best shield surfing skills ever, uh, you're gonna get ambushed by enemies and you're gonna be stuck fighting them and uh, it's gonna be a whole thing, so I really don't recommend it. I actually do not recommend it. So yeah, just uh, just gonna say, please, if you if you don't feel confident in your uh, seal, seal riding skills, like, with just wild ones, because they are technically slower, uh, just go ahead and red one. That should make the path so much easier. So much easier for everybody involved. Because some of these timers are actually quite quite strict. Not all of them, not all of them, and obviously if you can you're able to follow the light, then you'll be good. Uh, but yeah, no, like please just rent the seal. If you don't feel confident in, in, in your skills for this, just rent the seal. Don't you dare! Don't you dare, the salt post, don't you dare! Electrolyte Clisalfos are dummy dumb. But we made it to the end, and there's a treasure chest in there. I don't think I have actually opened it up before, or if I have, then I actually forgot all about it. I'm gonna try to open that before going to the, the shrine, honestly. Because that's, that's a Takamashiri shrine with a diddle 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 moment, so yeah. Takamashiri. Taka, Takamashiri shrine. Huh. But what's in the what's on in the inside of the thing? Three hundred rupees. We don't actually need money anymore, but you know, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I actually do. Now let's get inside of the shrine. Yay! Yeah this is dual purpose. You know, the the thing that you have in pretty much everything that you own in this game. Everything has multiple purposes. 
So, uh, of course, you don't want to electrify this and then cross, so first you cross. And then you rearrange them in order to electrify out. Exactly because of that. Exactly because of that. I got myself electrified. This is what you want to do. Open up. That's the first one. Uh, so then you want to take this one and move move them out of, you, of range. I don't want to get electrified, please and thank you. Then give me that one, only that one back, so that I may cross without getting completely fried. Now you can go back. Uh, you, on the other hand, I need to out of contact with that thing, and also I need the other ones to break up a little bit. Just so that I can, you know, cross safely. There we go. No more, no more electrification means so much more funnification. Or however you want to say that. <laughs> we have a lot more fun when we're not getting electrocuted. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, put that there gently. And now we can use these two, right? Um, we can use... Uh, Trouble, 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 trouble. Now, please. Yes. Yes. Now, touch touch this one slightly. That is the way. I gotcha. And last but not least, we got a stairway to make out of these um, little things. It's gonna, it's gonna be a thing and a half. It's gonna be a thing and a half. But we also have this. So we kind of really want them to electrify this section here. Uh, so what are we gonna do about it? We're gonna move this out a little, we're gonna move this over a little, uh, and then... Wait, what the... Where's, where's the generator? Oh, the generator's over here. Okay, so yeah, you do have to use all of them. So if that's the case, then we can just use this. Then uh, use the other one to bring the current down, and that way we open up the thing on the back. So that's one puzzle solved. Got it. Get another royal bow with quick shot. I. Hmm. Hmm. My feelings are conflicted on this. Well, uh. Let's let's just let's let's just get rid of the other royal bow with quick shot. I mean, it was a good reward for what it was, but having two is actually a little bit too much. They are not that powerful. It's a good bow. It has good damage. It's just not the greatest. So if I can get multiple of them, I am not gonna do it. Okay. Well then, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this off. We want to be able to climb up uh, properly. Right? We, we want to be able to climb up properly to everywhere. And we actually need to climb up through this one. So we leave this one here. Now this is what we do for the rest of the thing. Uh, yes. Yes. See, now see here. You can do pretty much anything that you want. Just, uh, it's gonna be hard for you to not get electrocuted. Now that's good on its own. I may have uh, made a little bit of a mistake here. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's good. Get get this one to go up a little, and then get that one moving up here a little. And that's a full circuit. Now, how do we climb up? You you get this to fall apart. <laughs> you completely drain the circuit of all its energy. Then move over here. You can just move this one a lot further out. Like a lot further out. So it doesn't have any contact with this. And then just push this one back. Are you freaking. Oh my god. Return to your place. Oh. Are you. You gotta be freaking kidding me sometimes with this, I... Did I move it a little bit too much? Well, I did, actually. It was kind of a purpose, but, you know... That way, when you're all the way over here, you just have to do that, and then this should be open. There we go! And that way, we got all the treasure chests inside of this one, and we also got the trial done. So, again, very puzzly, very wisdom through. 
Very, um... Very electrifying. <laughs> Thank you, Monk. Thank you for the other Naboris emblem. <laughs> Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. One remains. Thank you for the info. All right, we got that, and it is extremely cold at this point, so instead of that, let's just warp over to the Kutakar Shrine. Kutakar, Kutakar, you're close but not so far. I meant to say that it was... It was close but yet and yet so far. Let me change over to my winter clothes. Um, there we go, and of course we do want to run on snow. Thank you. Why would we want to do that? Well, um, it's not because of these things. Don't worry about it. It's not... The Sophos really don't have to hear about us too much. Uh, I know that this is like a place, right? We're, we're going the correct way. This is, this is exactly the way we want to go. Oh, come on. You literally just appeared out of nowhere. Literally just appeared out of nowhere. So basically, basically, basically... Come all the way over here. We're back at the Giga Clan's hide hideout, remember? It's a it's a place that we were at before, but I really just needed protection from the from the cold at that point. It's also raining in here for some reason, even though it shouldn't. It's sunny. So stop it, rain. Stop it. Uh now I can switch back over to some more traditional Gerudo clothes. For Vos, obviously. Hi there! How are you guys doing? This would not usually be open. This would usually be closed and you cannot open it from this side. The metal slate is a little bit more to the uh, to the innards, so, yeah. Mm. Huh. Are you looking for treasure too? The Yiga clan. They took one of the Garuda tribe's treasures in there. A secret orb or something. It looked like it could sell for a high price, so I followed them, but... Well... Now I'm thinking I should probably back away while I, st I still can. Wait, you don't think... They're not planning to throw the sacred orb into that big gaping hole like that old legend says, right? Well, we should, actually. Yeah. I hear the Giga clan were taken out by a traveling swordsman. And yet, there's still an awful lot of them around. They seem to be hoarding bananas, too. Maybe they're still up to no good? I know one thing for sure. The orb they stole from the Garuda tribe is in their second floor storage area. Huh. But getting there is too dangerous. Staying alive is essential to being a great treasure hunter. Haha, <laughs> but I am the traveling swordsman that took them out. So, you know, I don't follow common sense. I'm just gonna stroll right in here, steal all of their bananas because they're delicious. The duplex bow can stay though. I, I really don't need another another bow. Bananas are more worth it, in my opinion. So here we are, back at the Gerudo hideout. I mean Gerudo, the Yiga clan hideout. So can I switch these over to ice arrows and then change? Uh, actually, this is fine. This time, wouldn't have to worry all that much about these guys being all like, oh, what? And stuff. So, well, you could be. Right? It, you, you could be, but there's also this thing. You had a sneak strike on ya. Ow. Oh, wait. They actually do, do get rid of your entire health bar with just one hit. Why? Was that the case? Okay, let's use the fact that we are actually stealthy right now. We took stealthy juice. Oh well, crap. Why did I jump like that? That was so dumb! I was almost done with all of them! Oh my god. Here goes nothing, I'm just running around stealthily. Don't mind me, I'm running around stealthily. I'm a stealthy boy. Don't mind me. Stealthy boy incoming. Bye bye. Let's try it with uh, Golden Claimer here. Uh oh. Well, you turned around quite fast. It still said Sneak Strike on the screen. Take that in your face. 
take uh, take a little bit of a freeze freeze chill. Uh, freeze pill. Okay, you are not wet enough. And you also do not do not take your freaking thing off, do you? Your 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 uh, sword. You do not you do not let it go down. Bang! That's another one done. These are the dangerous ones for some reason. Ow! Freaking duplex bows. All right, let's go. Can I freaking just like please get rid of you guys? You are annoying to no end. You're annoying me to no end. Thank you for the bananas. And now you with the eyes and the bang bang and maybe a couple more hits. There you go. You're gone. That's all of them. That's all of them. We completed the gauntlet. Got a few of these uh, amber things. We got more bananas. Got got a few more rupees to pick up. Yeah. You clan members, very good to just get stuff from. We love to see that. Also, these will always have the 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 rocks. So you know. Get Topas, get Ruby, get all these things. Just get gems. Out in, and in general, just get get them gems. Uh, anything new in this room over here, though? Apparently not, so we're not gonna go up there. Coolio and Tally Ho. Uh, sure, I don't feel like climbing. Slowly. So I'll just gladly come over here, get that. And then, um... Well, technically, technically speaking, we could go over there. Te technically speaking, we could go over there. Or we could just, like, climb through here. It's really not all that bad. It's second, second, uh, second floor storage room, they said. And this is exactly where the orb is, so... Might have bananas to me. Might have bananas uh, to me. And now we can just go. Got an orb. We defeated all of them. If you decide to go completely stealthy route and then just not defeat anybody while you're doing this, you're gonna have to be stealthy on your way out. Which is basically why I adopted the kill em all strategy. This lets you go out scot-free quite nicely, just like this. Yeah. Did you really go in there? And not that orb? You stole it, yeah? You really did? Yikes, if they find out, they'll surely chase you down until the end of time. Well, they're already chasing me for the rest of time, so I, I really don't mind. That orb, could it be? Is that the treasure of the Gerudo? That is so not fair, we found it first. I was the one who had the balls to steal it. ba -doom. Anyways, uh, it is daytime now, and I would gladly like to chuck this down. It finally reached the bottom, hey? Huh? And indeed, it makes this appear. Just, just say hello. Say hello to little shrine shrine over here. There we go. So, we've made a good amount of progress on this, very, very fast. This is the Kihido Mo Shrine. Let's get inside and do the last of the shrines, this time for real. And this is inside the box. Wait, do we have to think inside the box? No, you just really have to look at this and say how many orbs of each color are inside. I see one red. I literally see only one red. We can just flip it every which way to see the balls move around. If you're not actually able to see some colors, then yeah. So I see I see one I see one that glows red. Yeah. It's like like a pinkish red, but you know, still. Pinkish red, and it is just the one. Over there. Bang. That's one. 
Okay, sort of that. <laughs> Link, can you please climb? Then we're gonna check again, and we're gonna go for the green ones. I see two greens. One, two... I think it's only two greens, and I'm still, like, I'm, I'm trying to get a count of the purple ones. I think it's four. Four purples. Two greens, four purples, and uh, two yellows. So, let's go. Two greens. This is another green. That's two greens. Two yellows. And four purples. The the word the word purple is just so weird to say now for me. I don't know why. And that's good. We have gotten that. We have gotten that. However, now that we've gotten that, like so, let's try to put this down like this. Yeah, as you can tell, there's no way to get a treasure chest from that, so we're gonna have to get a different trial. How many of the regular bowls are there? Three? I think that there's only three. I count three. One, two, three. After you clear the first board, I kind of forgot for a second, like, I, I had the correct idea, I just had it, like, backwards. After you do that, you just have to do this. Now grab this big metal board, pull it, pull it, pull it backwards, P pull it, what are you, what are you doing? Pull it to the back, and then all the balls will come out, holy crap, you can actually get hurt very badly from that, and you can just count the amount of the ones, like, just count the ones that are, like, metal, that you can magnesis, and then you can just use one of those magnesis balls to put them on here. And that's good! It was three. And that's it, just open up the chest, you get your reward. It's all for being of Serpent. A Thunder Spear. I like that. I like Thunder Spears, thank you for asking. And with that, the final trial has been completed. I'm sorry that it was a little bit anticlimactic, no big fight, no big anything, but that is the actual last shrine in the game. That is number resemblance number three! Now that now you have collected collect three, three emblems, emblems, you must you go, must to, go the to the Bind Beast Bar Nepples. And that's good! You guys are intrigued by what I did? Do you not see the end of it, or... You're throwing away treasure? You do realize how wasteful that is, right? If you didn't want it, I would have been happy to take it off your hands. Mm. Oh, you threw the precious treasure down below. What were you thinking? Well, there's the legend, and you throw the treasure, and that thing appears. That, that's what I was thinking. Like, I wanted the legend to come true. What about you guys? You're only thinking about the money. Think about the history, the culture, the knowledge. Although, I think there is such a thing as greed for knowledge. So yeah, maybe not that much, either. Anyways, we're here! To the one who approaches the divine beast, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this drop. In exchange, In exchange for Nabora's assemblage, you, you will be granted, granted the chance, chance to tread, tread through, through the realm of memories. 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 Those who lack, Those determination, who lack determination, determination will find this draught unforgiving. Do not do take not this take place lightly, lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. Your mind. The, truth the truth is much deeper, deeper than you know. Than you know. This, this illusory realm, realm was created, created from the depths, the depths of your memories. memories. The, enemy the enemy you shall you face is a product, product of the fear, of the fear that, dwells that dwells within. within. You, you must, must overcome, overcome this fear to proceed. proceed. 
This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. <laughs> You're still the smallest one. Uh oh. Sorry about that. I didn't. I didn't mean to hurt your, to hurt your uh, sensibilities. You know. There you go. Nice, easy. Come on, stop right there. Thank you, Daruk's protection for existing. Now move back. Don't shock me. Don't shock me. Okay, you got that back. Yep, okay, that was technically not me, but if you do that, uh, like, if you use the thing, you'll you'll be greatly surprised by the benefits out. I didn't see you moving down there. Yeah. Well, Daruk's protection is really helpful here, so might as well use it. Almost halfway. There we go. Halfway. And of course, now it's electrified! So... Don't do- okay! Immediately went for the freaking metal stacks, okay? Okay, I see that, I see that. I'm trying my best to grab one, but the game is not letting me, thank you very much. Okay, gotcha? Gotcha. I, I, was, I was trying my best to get it to where this guy was. I don't have any. Okay, what do I have? I, I don't have any any of these. I do have an Ish of Duality, which is what we're gonna be using to finish off the fight. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Chill it, chill it. Chill with that. Edge of Duality. Let's go. 50s. Okay, maybe not like that. Ha 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 ha! The Daybreaker was not helpful. What do you mean? That is exactly what I wanted. And now I go once, twice, thrice, four times, five times, and we're done. There you go. It's not really all that hard now, was it? Are you still adrift in thought? You seem lost to the winds of your mind. Oh, pardon me, I suppose it's none of my business. <laughs> Wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Urbosa has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the divine beast Vana Boris, which Urbosa herself mastered. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Urbosa. Recall that boy's champion of sand Before she was lost to the land Chief Urbosa's heart was strong So the princess came Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. 
You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa, on behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me! Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst! <laughs> <laughs> For our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! <sighs> <sighs> you asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world, yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. <laughs> Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Though she was a fierce warrior, the Gerudo chief was also a loving friend of Hyrule's princess. So, what do you think of Champion Urbosa's song? By writing a song that honors the heart of Champion Urbosa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. The missing verses of an ancient song, I think the perfect setting would be Hyrule Castle in the distant past. I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. And we get Urbosa's fury plus! It now requires less time to recharge, so we can use it way more often. That ends EX Champion Urbosa's song. I am Mas Hoshia. I, I, I must commend you commend for conquering the trial, the trial thus far. The door, the door to the final, final trial is now open, open at the Shrine of Resurrection. Of resurrection. Go, go, go and go, face, face your destiny. Your destiny. So we need. We now have a new destination for the Champion's Ballad. Now, I have neglected to talk about this so far, but... After you clear the game once, you will get a counter of how many quests of each category you have. We have cleared 18 of the main quests out of the 20 that there are. Meaning that, well, this would be 19th and clearing the game is the 20th. Sorry. We have completed all 42 Shrine Quests, we have completed all of the Side Quests, and we have obtained all but one of the EX Memories. We have completed every single one of their songs, so we have 
all of these. Also, by the way, you can you can see a timer of how long it takes for these uh, to recharge if you come into the menu. So that's that's a neat little thing. We got the DLC travel medallion. We've gotten all of the saddles and uh, brittles that we can have without amiibo. We have Hestus gift and the rest of the cork seeds that you know we didn't need for sashes. We have gotten absolutely everything in pretty much every single area. And yet, we have only 99.42% of the map completed. It's still going to be a little bit, but that is the story for next time. When we go back to the Shrine of Resurrection and clear the rest of the Champion's Palette. Also, we are missing a few entries in the Hyrule Compendium. For sure. But we have the Moldu King and we have the Igneo Talos Titan. We have yet to see one of these EX creatures though. At any rate, that is going to be everything for today guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to the channel if you really like the video. And I will see you guys next time for more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I will see you guys then. Ha 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 ha!